This is Geographical Analysis, Lecture 17, ANOVA. So far in the course, we've looked at three different applications of hypothesis testing for difference of means tests. The first one was where we only had one sample, and we were testing to see whether or not a sample mean differs from some hypothetical mean. Then we looked at the case where we had two samples, two independent samples, and we were comparing the means between these two samples. And then last time we looked at matched pairs. And in this case, we had two variables that were either coming from the same observation or somehow two observations that were linked to each other, like husbands and wives. This is what we called the two sample matched pairs t-test. Today we're going to extend difference of means tests to the case where we have three or more samples using a procedure called ANOVA. ANOVA stands for the analysis of variance. And we use ANOVA to determine if a categorical grouping variable, the variable that we'll call the independent variable, impacts some outcome measure that we're going to call the dependent variable. So, so, so to put an example uh, to these terms, for one example of an application of ANOVA is if we were to determine if knowledge of group membership, for example, low, medium, or high drug use, so those are the groups. You can be in the low drug use group, the medium drug use group, or the high drug use group. Helps explain variation in outcomes. And here the outcomes might be the number of years a person spends in prison, or how many hours a person uh, uh, spends in therapy. So does one's drug use help explain these outcomes? How much time someone spends in prison, or how much time they use therapy? The general idea behind ANOVA is that it partitions the total variation in the dependent variable into variation between groups of respondents and variation within the groups of respondents. So the more variation there is between the groups, for example, if there's a, lot of, if there's a big difference between the amount of times people, people spend, in, spend in prison when we compare between the low drug use groups and the high drug, drug use groups, then there's going to be a lot of variation between the groups. So the more variation there is between the groups, the more likely that the group membership is impacting the dependent variable. The more likely it is that drug, drug use categories are affecting how long people spend in prison. In ANOVA hypothesis tests, the null hypothesis is that the within group means are equal to each other. So in this case, the null hypothesis is that the, the mean of group 1 equals the mean of group 2 equals dot, 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 all the way up to the mean of group k. So in here, we've got mu 3 equals mu 4 equals, you know, everything up to the number of groups that we have. So in that drug use example, we only had three groups. So the null hypothesis would be mu 1 equals mu 2 equals mu 3. The alternate hypothesis is that one of the means is different. And if one of the means is different, that means that at least one of the samples is drawn from a different population. So if a sample mean is different, it implies that one of the population means is different. So in this case, we just have mu1 not equal to mu2, not equal to you know, each mu that we have until we exhaust the number of groups that we have. So in our case, it would just be mu1 not equal to mu2, not equal to mu3.